A very big welcome to everyone and I am so excited to be able to bring to you my third layout for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and I started off by picking my photo and I fell in love with this paper. It's called Thief of Hearts by Photo Play. and the first thing I did was I got a piece of white cardstock from my stash. I trimmed all four sides just a touch and then with the Thief of Hearts paper what I did was I gutted the inside so that I could use the inner bit as a mat for my photo and I decided that I wanted to put a white mat around my photo and of course I'm using my perfect layers ruler because I just absolutely love how it gives this beautiful border all along all, all along all around my next step here was to use this lovely border uh, die set from Lawn Fawn. It's called Valentine Borders and you can get it from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. It is on special at the moment. So if you want to go and check out her store and get your own set, it is really worth it. I just love the little love hearts that you get everywhere, which I'm planning to do something with sometime in the near future. And this is where things go a little bit wrong. Uh, the die is a is about a mil too wide for my cuddle bug. So it actually, when it went through the machine, it skewered it. And at first I did curse a little bit and then I went, you know what, it is what it is, just go with the flow. And, and you know what, sometimes things happen for a reason and in the end I quite like the fact that it did go a little bit askew. It's not something that would have come to my my brain to do it like that but yeah I go with the flow and I actually quite like the pattern that it formed so you know out of a misfortune came something pretty good so yeah I was quite happy with that and maybe that's sometimes a little bit true of life things that go our way and then when we look back we go oh yeah well you know what it was quite good that that misfortune happened because that led to xyz you know that's my philosophy for the day because I don't know why, just because. I did go through my stash for some grey cardstock, but nothing really matched, not even my scraps. So in the end, what I did was I had this piece of white cardstock that was the right size. So I decided I was just going to spray it with some of the Mr. Huey uh, spray mist in the colour silver. And that was absolutely perfect to bring some of the, the grey that my husband's wearing because uh, he's got a grey t-shirt on and I thought yes I'm trying to bring some of the colors from my photo into my layout which is something that I like to do and it was just the right shade of gray so it came out perfect so I'm just starting to adhere everything down and then I went to my sticker sheet and I found these lovely XOXO and I really wanted to use them but they were the wrong color but that never that never stops me I just go oh well I'm gonna to have to make it mine so I get out my gesso and while I'm doing this I realized that if I went up and down with my finger it gave all this extra texture to the gesso instead of nice and smooth and I for some reason I started thinking concrete granite and I went oh more gray so I ended up spraying it with some of the Mr. Huey's that silver silver spray mist and then I added some distress oxides in the color um, iced spruce, I believe it's called. And I just did went backwards and forwards between the distress oxide and the the spray mist till I got a color that I really liked. So I then put that aside aside to dry naturally. And I wanted to use this lovely stamp set. This stamp set is part of the core kits for February and it is called Bouquet of Hearts by Pink Fresh. So at first I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I just thought, you know, go with the flow, stamp it out using my Tim Holtz stamping tool. And I had some old markers that I thought I'd get out of storage. And here I am, I just coloured it in. Cut most of that out because I'm not very good at colouring in. And, you know, you don't really have to watch that. So I saved you the boredom. And this is where I get a little bit creative. I get some what was it an old paintbrush and I landed up dabbing glue on the love hearts and I just sprinkled some of the flower soft and I quite like the effect so at first I used a dry brush to get rid of the excess flower soft but in the end I knew this was going to work so 
I ended up just putting glue on all the love hearts, sprinkling it with the flower soft, and I went for a walk. It was Sunday afternoon, and my daughter and I love to go for walks on the river and seeing the locals. And you know, usually on a Sunday afternoon, you'll you'll find the locals, you'll see tourists, and all the dogs are out swimming in the river. It's a beautiful way to spend sun, uh, Sunday afternoon. So we went and did that, and by the time I got back, it was all dry, and I loved the end result. So I got my scissors and I just fussy cut around it. Then I decided, oh, I better work on this background because I don't like all that white. So I decided to use the packaging technique once again, just using one of my old stamping blocks. And the first colour I'm using is Shabby Shutters by, it's a Distress by Ranger, Distress Spray Stain, I think they call it. And I just wanted to bring in some of that green into the layout because there's a bit of green in the photo. Uh, funnily enough, this photo was taken by the river too, so that's quite funny. And uh, then I got, I decided I will bring the photo back in just to see how everything was going. And I stuck down my XOXO because that had all dried and I absolutely love it. Then I realised my daughter's wearing some orange and I thought, oh, I've got to bring some of this orange into the layout. So I got out my Kaiser Craft, um, it's another spray mist, colour mist, whatever they're called. And this one's just called orange and... Once the photo's in, it sort of ties in with the orange she's wearing, and I love it. So then I had this stencil in my stash, which no idea where it came from, and I just love the, the patterns in it. So I just used some, some what's that, paste cord. I always have a bit of a blank to the paste, embossing paste, texture paste, whatever it's called. And I put it through all the stencil, and that's when it hits me, flower soft more texture incorporate that flower soft and yeah just get my little glue bottle out and randomly just put glue anywhere i didn't really think too much about it sprinkled the flower soft as you can see it makes a mess but gosh it looked lovely and i was really really happy with myself so i thought oh i want to add a bit more of this flower soft so more glue more flower soft and yeah really happy with the outcome and i love the texture that it gives and it just brought everything together. So my layout is back in, my, I brought my photo back in, my sticker sheet, and I love this sticker. It says, love you very much. I thought it was so cute. So now with my little stamped image, it was just that white really wasn't working for me. So I just got my Mr. Huey Silver Mist again, and I'm just painting all the insides of the where those hearts were all around it, just to incorporate some of that gray into it and you know it just sits better with the with the layout so my texture paste or whatever it was called is all dry now and the white it just wasn't popping it just needed something so i get my little paintbrush again and my mr huey and even though this looks tedious it didn't really take that long i just went around the texture paste and just you know put some paint on some well not some really paint it's that color mist just around it and I just love that pop of grey that happens and yeah I don't know why but I really liked it it's silly I know so I'm just using some some foam to pop up my little my little embellishment of my stamp and this layout is almost done so back to the sticker sheet and I'm just writing out the word love or the sticker sheet. But first I saw these little arrows and I went, oh, yes. So I put the arrows pointing towards the photo and I just like that little bit of a border there and stuck down the word love. And I had to add the balloons because my daughter loves balloons and I just saw them and I went, yes, I've got to add them in there for her. So the balloons are for her. There's a few little sticker sheets, little, little sticker sheets. What am I saying? There's a few little hearts on the sticker sheet. So... I stuck them down and the banner of hearts, I absolutely love that. It's a little arrow. And then I thought love just wasn't working for me on its own. So on my Tim Holtz um, oh, word stickers, I just got out the words my family. So in the end it reads love my family. And that's it. Here's a close-up. And hope you all well. And I look forward to my next layout. Until then. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my little growing channel. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone.
Till next time. Bye.